Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Now, <sighs> this is uh, my second playthrough, would you believe it or not? So, thank you very much for uh, Reva of Dual Sandwiches who let me know that. What the fuck? Why did he do that? Because oh, he has his reasons. Say. Fuck this! What the hell is that? Meet me in room nine four three. Fuck that! I'm leaving. Jesus, you're cut. Almost down to the bone. I'll be all right. You're probably in shock and can't feel it. The museum is thirty blocks away. If you want to reach it, we have to stop this bleeding. Do you hear me? Yeah, we've got to stop this bleeding. Um, right, so guys, uh, I will say thank you very much to uh, Reaver of Dual Sandwiches who let me know that the microphone kept cutting in and out. Um, and that, that, funny enough, uh, I d like caught a little bit of that um, on uh, when I was editing the first two videos, but I didn't think it was too bad. It was a little bit annoying, but I thought, okay, we'll we'll. We'll go with it, and hopefully it will sort itself out, because there's some sort of bug somewhere or something. Um, went through the entire playlist, and because, yes, uh, before I even started uploading this game, I've actually finished it. This game is, you know, fucking one and done, son, like, <laughs> quite a while ago. Uh, but, as I was editing the, the, the videos... Uh, later, it actually got a lot worse. Uh, I've identified the problem and I have sorted it, but there's nothing really I can do. Um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, so when did I actually finish this game? Uh, yeah, there's two achievements that we've got left to do. Uh, yeah, I actually completed this game like nearly uh, two weeks ago. Huh. I'm pretty sure something like that. Anyway, um, so that's kind of a ball lake, but I think I've sorted out the problem. My capture card is not very well. Um, <laughs> it seems to, well, it's starting to conflict with certain things. Um, which is not brilliant. However, uh, it's my birthday coming up and my partner has bought me a new capture card that I'm not actually allowed until my birthday, which is 4th of July. And it's the 21st of June today. Um, and she's got me the 4K, um, 4K60 Pro, which is a monstrous... Um, capture card because I've been using the HD60 for about a thousand years which was kindly donated to me uh, by a subscriber many 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 moons ago now uh, back when I was doing Resident Evil Revelations 2 I believe uh, because I had the Hophog HD60 no what was it the Hophog HD PVR2 which is the biggest piece of steaming dog shit that I've ever owned I had four of those they never worked uh, but this new capture card is actually an internal capture card, so I've got to completely like rejig everything. But I can't wait. I don't think I have any consoles capable of outputting 4K 60. Uh, I mean, I guess technically the Xbox One X is supposed to be able to do some 4K games, but I very much doubt it's anything's 4K 60. But but hey, whatever. We're gonna stick with 1080p 60 for now. Anyway, but yeah, so <sighs> capture card is is not liking my microphone anymore. I think, uh, but I think I, I've reinstalled everything, all these drivers and shit, and it seems to be okay. So I'm gonna go back through this game again. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get get some help. Uh, obviously, I was going through and getting all of the achievements as well. It was quite a complete <laughs> playthrough, but uh, well. Well, it's all in the recycle bin now, but at least I am, oh, hello, way more acclimatized to this game uh, than when I first started. Uh, is this a good game? Is it a good game? Is it a passable game? Um, no, no, it's not. It's 
utter shite, but here we go. We've started, so we're going to finish. Maybe they can help us. An ambulance. Okay, one more time. Help me up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. Now, if you get a deep wound like this, you will get seven minutes to uh to spray no bandage yourself otherwise you'll bleed to death never really a big problem in the game to be honest yeah hey, uh -huh. yep yep thanks sarah you you, you yeah uh -huh. damn it i think i'm gonna pass out i will be fine you've got six minutes left i'll take care of it yep all right you go take care of that From you. Oh, good, good. Um. Theo's phone. Try to call nine one one. Maybe they can help. Mhm. Mm right. Yeah. Well, that is what we'll do. Um. Yeah. Now, because we're not achievement hunting, this will be a lot quicker. Because the achievement hunting in this game, uh, although it wasn't terrible, it did take a good portion of time. Also, there were some sections of this game that were really difficult to work out a couple of a couple of different sections uh because this game has so many mechanics you actually think there's a lot more you can do in this game than you actually can but with all this uh secret knowledge that i now have it it, it will be a lot less painful going through it a second time Shut up. Addington was wrong to give you the stone. It was destined for me. So you saw that, huh? Where are you? Why don't you come up? You forget the thrill of the chase. The fissures seem much too interested in you. Don't worry. I'll come at the right time. But let me tell you that holding onto the stone's only going to make it worse. How thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Well, we actually need to hold on to the stone, at least for now. Right, so there is a achievement for calling all of your contacts we don't yeah there's one missing but basically this confused me for a while so to call sarah for instance i push a and it says all lines are busy please try your call again later so i thought oh okay maybe there's a point in this game where you can have some kind of conversation with uh, all of the characters maybe the lines open up a bit later no no that that is all you have to do is go to this and all lines are busy. Please try again later. On every character. Don't know. Oh, notice that his, uh, his number there was 666. Uh, not sure why that's an achievement. That, that It's awful. But hey, that's the theme of this game. Awful stuff. Right, PlayStation 3 version of this game is also a little bit different, actually. A little bit better in some respects. You don't need batteries for your torch. For a start, which is nice, whereas in the Xbox 360 version, you need batteries for your torch. Dr. Hartford here. We're relaying the Central Park emergency calls. Hey, I'm in Central Park and I'm badly wounded. Who's not? At least you're still breathing. The park's public restroom should have first aid kits, so go find one and hold him, Drake. He's spitting blood everywhere. Spitting blood, eh? Public restroom. Yeah, Central Park, dude. I'm sure there's public restrooms everywhere. Oh, hey, friend. Hmm, these little vampires, as they're called. Or basically bats, but they're called vampires. All the enemies in this game are called, like... Oh, we still got the 9mm. Cool, okay. All the enemies in this game have a Z on the end. Like the standard zombie humans uh, are actually called humans. Humans with a Z on the end. Yes, you can move and fondle bodies, but there is literally no point. It, as far as, oh, actually that's, oh God, we can, <laughs> I've forgotten how silly this game is. Right, can we drop the body please? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> this game, right. Oh God, we're out of bullets. That doesn't happen often. I have the batteries, thank you. Yeah, this game is very, very silly. 
uh, and I I mean it's really freaking silly, man. And I will say, if you're looking forward to seeing like something cool happening at the end, uh, the ending's shite. I mean, no, seriously, the ending is absolute fucking shit. But we'll get to that. Right, anyway, uh, so let's go grab some bandages now. Ooh, hello. Read messages. Yeah, there's a lot of messages to read. Uh, I mean, a good chunk. We've got 26 tips to read, but there's very little point in reading those. So, Dr. Hartford. Treating a wound. Press uh, right to enter healing mode. Then choose the wound you want to treat with the left stick. Finally, use the bandage with the uh, right trigger. So, there's materials and stuff that we can find in this game. Uh, but, again, you think, oh, fuck, yeah, there's the thing behind us. You think that the uh, crafting mechanics in this game are going to be a lot more in-depth and a lot more interesting than they actually are. Um, there's just, like, 782,000 ways to make a Molotov cocktail. Might look different, but it's all the same. Uh, you know, stuff like that, you know. Like, all you really need is bottles of flaming liquids. You never, ever, really, apart from a few story-based uh, sections, need to make Molotov cocktails. You just don't need to make them un unless it's for puzzle reasons. And even in puzzle re uh, for puzzle reasons, they're very few and far between, let's just say that. All right, anyway, we've got all these little grub nuts outside. These little fucking bastards. Now, one thing I will say about lockers. If you leave lockers for a minute, right, they will respawn everything that's in there. Okay, so for instance, if we just stand here for a while, which I did do a few times, um, you can see this stuff is just respawning, right? So you can fill your boots, so to speak. Uh, so what do we actually have on us? We have like no bullets. We definitely do not ever want handkerchiefs because unless it's for a puzzle reason, like I said, there's no point whatsoever in carrying bandages around with you either. Uh, because, you know, the frequency where you get a deep wound is so incredibly rare. I mean, the only time that I ever really had it happen was when I blew myself up with a bomb. So, yeah, glow sticks, again, borderline pointless item, uh, apart from a couple of sections of the game where you, in fact, actually, off the top of my head, I can think of one area of the game, possibly two, where they're actually useful. Uh, so we have a 9mm handgun at the moment. Uh, spoiler, we do get a 44 mag later on. It's exactly the same. It just holds uh, 12 bullets instead of 8. Apparently in the PlayStation 3 version, the mag holds 15. So, yeah, I don't know. Same bullets are used for every gun. You can sellotape bullets to bottles to make them do more damage, but... It, that didn't really seem very obvious to me. You can make the most dangerous weapon in this game, which, believe it or not, is a lighter and a spray bottle. <sighs> yeah, uh, that is the most effective. That It basically one kills uh, or one shots any enemy. Uh, apart from bosses, but I mean, I think there's two bosses in the game and they're both shit. So, we, we don't really have to worry too much about that. Anyway, so. Big bada boom. We'll be doing this quite a lot. This is like the best method of actually defending yourself. Always make sure you put petrol on your bullets. Because if you don't put fuel on your bullets, your bullets are useless pretty much. And we're going to... What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a pause in here. And I'm going to collect a metric fuck ton of bullets basically as many as we can actually hold here because um we actually go through quite a lot of them so one second guys i'm gonna put a pause here and i'll catch you in a minute okay so that should give us enough bullets for now anyway right let's go
Yeah, some more platforming. There's some platforming in this game, and it's shit. But I have a rough idea of what to do these days. I say a rough idea. Right. Come on, you. Calm be. Let's go. So we can scale across these ropes. Uh, the thing is, the game visually is quite a mixed bag. Like, it doesn't look terrible most of the time. Well, uh, from afar anyway. Like, your cityscapes and your skyboxes are okay. Uh, they do the job. But the it's just the frame rate that kills the game, really. So, let's reload. Every time you reload, you drop all the bullets that have got fuel in. So, you know. Uh, here we go. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, that happened. Oh! How? How did... How did we survive? Because you can't fall more than, like, two feet in this game. Uh, right, well, let's not question that. Okay, so these standard enemies here, we don't need... We don't actually need... Bullets to kill. Uh, flaming bullets, anyway. So, bear that in mind. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure why that actually happened. Now, that melee combat that we've seen in the prior video as well. Uh, you know, where you think that you have to swing... Uh, he's got loads of batteries. I guess we can take another pack of batteries. We'll we never need that many, but, you know. Um... Yeah, that melee combat where you're picking up items and beating the shit out of the enemies. Yeah, we're going to avoid that as much as we can. Because we have a gun with flaming bullets. Which renders that method totally redundant. Trust me, when I say totally redundant, I mean redundant. And um, the actual combat with swinging the weapons around is so unbelievably shockingly shit that we're not even going to waste our time with it to be honest so right let's get out of here anyway god I can't believe we've like I think we skipped a good chunk of that climbing there by accidentally falling which is good there we go alright you'll see this bus is on a bit of a tilty slide now this is one of the only parts in the game where I remember that you need to drag stiffs around yeah. which is you know um, a lot harder than you would think okay but we need to balance the bus out so come here dude ooh I think his wallet just rolled out of his pocket no 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 yeah, there's so many different, like, ways of picking people up and so many different, like, buttons to push to jump off things as well. It's just... It's so silly. Anyway, can we... Yep, yeah, you'll get stuck on absolutely everything as well. Alright, we're good. We're loaded up. Get the hell out of this part as quick as we can. Okay, cool. Right now, what? Oh, you got some bullets, dude. Always in the in the market for some bullets. Now you'd think, oh, if you see a police corpse around, maybe he's got some bullets or something useful. Nah, <laughs> this is just the beginning of the game. Later on, bodies are just like everywhere. They don't actually mean anything. Um, now let's load up some fire bullets. Okay. Oh. Who would have thunked it? Now. Fire bullets. Are somewhat effective on these guys. Now they're not super effective. But these are just like the basic grunts. What you have to do. Is you have to hit them in the cracks of their body. The fissures if you will. So you can run around. Oh see look he's got a fissure on his back. You can run around and try and, you know, beat them poorly with a bloody stupid um, stick or a pole or a bat that's on fire. Or you could just do that. Like, I, I don't know why you'd ever, and I mean 
ever not use the gun as long as you've got flaming um, liquid on you. Because it is the only realistic way of fighting. I mean, yeah, sure, we can pick this up and we can, like, kind of do this weird swing thing that, you know, when the gods smile on you and the moon hangs in the right position in the sky, sometimes works, but most of the time it just doesn't work. Um, but, yeah, fuck that noise. We're going to use flaming bullets, yo. Okay, so, uh, we're not injured, which is fine. Yeah, even if you're not injured, he will go through that stupid animation every single time, which is really annoying. Uh, medical spray. You know what? We've got space for another spray. Let's grab the spray. All right. Let's keep going. Come on, Kambu. That's it. Atta boy. Atta boy. Yeah, there's, there's... I wouldn't say there's a lot of this bullshit in this game, but there's enough, if that makes sense. There's certainly enough points in this game where you have to do this climby bullshit. Hey, friend. I still can't believe I've got to play this game again. Oh, I mean, it's not that bad. This okay, so this game's not like the worst game in the world, but it's it's up there. There we go. Let's just shoot this door open. Open says me. Now they make fire out to be this really big important thing and it kind of is but kind of isn't as well. Uh, I thought they were going to do a lot more with it than they actually did. Right, let's go. Really? It's because there's a fire right under me. That's fine. That's fine. We don't care. We don't care about the fire. Alright. Not bad, Kambi. Not bad. Now, let's give ourselves a bit of a spray with the ooze. Uh, also, you, you're you going to want to spend the majority of the game in first-person mode. Because walking around in third-person mode sucks. No, really, it is terrible. So, you don't want to do that. There are some exceptions where there are only certain actions that you can perform uh, in that mode. Which is kind of annoying, but I say it's not too bad. For instance, jumping up here won't be able to do that in in first person mode. You can't fight. Well, you can't use the gun in third person mode either. I don't know why. I you know, it's just one of the things that developers thought were cool. Technically, there's three camera modes in this game as well. Yeah, yeah, QTEs are a thing, but they're very rare. So. You have this kind of Resident Evil fixed camera mode that sometimes just turns on whenever the game demands it. Then you've got the third person camera that sometimes you don't have access to. And then you've got the first person camera as well. Now you can do different things in each camera perspective, which is, it's, uh, there's a lot going on in this game, to be honest. I think they wanted to make about four different games, but, you know, they only had the budget for one. Right, we can check um, inside the glove boxes in cars, which is actually quite a cool feature. Uh, that one's only got 51%, so let's grab that. It's only got 10%, so we swapped a 51% for a 10%. Bad deal. Very bad deal. Um, we can check this, and there's an achievement for finding a, car, um, a key uh, in one of the... Come on. Come on. There's an achievement for finding a key in uh, the sun visor. Which actually is very rare to do that. So that, that took a little bit of time. Okay. There we go. See this cocoon boy here? There's another achievement for just setting him on fire. How would you set him on fire, you ask? Shoot him. Shoot him. Try shooting him again. There we go. A couple of bullets. Sometimes it takes a little while for them to actually catch. But, yeah. That's all there is to them. See that goldfish going around as well? Uh, that's the only goldfish in the game. Uh, you get an achievement for shooting that. But we've already got that. So, you know. Okay. Let's load up. 
so what are we looking like from fuel? We've got an empty plastic bottle. Don't need that. Uh, that 10% medical spray. Could probably use that, but we're fine. Alright. Grab that. Grab as many of these as you can. Oh, there's some bullets. Oh, more bullets. Definitely, we, we like the bullets around these parts. You can shoot these bottles when they're on the floor. And they do explode. Quite spectacularly. Which is quite cool. But, you know. Right, let's go. Continue to get out of this bloody mess. Now, here we are, underground. There is also a quick shortcut, which I think we went through in the first... Ah, yeah. That's actually saved all of my shortcuts. Um, so, instead of scrolling through all of this bullshit, you can just select what you want. For instance, I don't know, if you want the torch, uh, put that down to A. Now, the trouble is... Uh, oh, the gun, I should say. So, basically, if I push Y now, he'll grab a spray bottle and a lighter. But, if I now select A, which is the gun in an empty hand, that won't actually be the gun in an empty hand. He won't get rid of the item that he's already got in the hand. So, your shortcuts, if you want a spare empty hand and a gun, doesn't save. So, in other words, the shortcuts are pretty pointless. Not really sure why they did that, but hey. Right. Now, using the um, LB and RB, you can cycle through what's in your uh, other hand, which is actually way easier than going through um, your shortcuts. Because your shortcuts are lies. I literally thought when it said shortcuts... They were going to be what what is brought out of your pockets. But it doesn't work that way. So if you've got your torch already in your hand and you push A, you'll still have your torch in your hand. Even if you wanted to put your torch back. It's... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just shit. I'll make you a deal. Like the one you dealt, Theo? I'll pass, thanks. How's the memory, Mr. Carnby? Still lost in Wonderland. Carnby? Yes. That's your name, you poor fool. <laughs> Edward Carnby. Theo warned us the invocation might have some unexpected side effects. You've done some amazingly depraved things in your life, Edward. Really, you should be thanking us. In your shoes, I'd prefer to forget too. Of course, if you want to remember, I can certainly help you with that. Tell me. Crowley! Fuck! <laughs> Carnby's got quite a dark past. It's quite interesting, actually. It sort of carries on from the old games, but sort of not as well. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Don't touch electrified water, kids. You'll die. You'll... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. You'll die pretty, pretty, pretty completely and thoroughly. Ugh, okay, but we can jump over here. Now, what we have to do is connect these two. Yeah. We have to connect the two wires when it flashes green. Okay. Didn't work that time. There we go. Yeah, those things are a little bit fiddly. They're not too bad. But they, they can be a little bit fiddly. Um... Uh, <laughs> You don't have to do it that often. Now, this is a bit here where I got stuck for ages. Because I literally had no freaking clue what to do. It's... Oh, I gotta try and remember, actually. It's actually fairly easy. But it's something that I didn't even know that I could do. Uh, but there we go. That's that's this game for you. Right, we've got some rap beasts here, but if you look over into the corner there, there is an explosive thing that we can just use to wipe the whole bloody lot out in one go. Uh, okay. Now, got another doohickey here, and I think this one's a bit more of a fuck factor, because if we get this one wrong, we instantly die. There we go, that's fine. Yeah, if we get that wrong, we literally fry our own ass. 
because that powers the red connector there, which is in the water. And you may have noticed that we're actually in the water. Yeah, no good will come of that. Now, these annoying little rat bastards as well. These ones actually take a few bullets to kill. They're not too bad. But if they spit at you, you will go blind for quite a while until you viciously mash the uh, the button to unblind yourself. Okay. Oh, we're actually on 31 minutes here. Holy smokes. We're definitely getting through this game a, <laughs> a good bit quicker than, than our first route. So, what I'm going to do here, guys. Actually, to be fair, this isn't actually a very long game, if you know what you're doing. Uh, the only thing that really padded out the time for me is when I was getting stuck and I wasn't really sure when I was looking for a symbol or something. Oh, that's, that'll come into it a little bit later on. Um, looking for a certain glyph. But no, I, I, I don't think it's going to take that much to replay through this game, actually. And as I said, it's not the worst game in the world. Okay. But it's pretty bad. So anyway... Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.